Pearson's gone to a dark place. I can feel myself getting dragged down with him. But I gotta stay sharp if I'm gonna make you proud, brother. Wasser, bitte. What's he want? Wasser, bitte. Here. God damn it, what are you doing with us? Lay off, Sergeant. What's that? Huh? How's that, huh? How's that work for you? Much better. You soon, lady. Sergeant. Hey, you stay out of this. <laughs> oh. Hey, stop! He's not worth it. Daniels! Don't crowd. Why'd you run? You must be hiding something. Son of a bitch was holding out on us. Give me that. What the fuck's this say? These are orders to plant explosives on the bridge in Remagen. Ordnance is gonna be loaded onto trucks five miles north of here. If I'm reading this right, it's the bridge across the Rhine. Ain't that Fritz. <laughs> Enemy trucks with explosives will be coming through here soon. We can't let them get to the Rhine. Pearson's ordered us to block the road by bringing down these trees. Where the hell is Pearson? Probably in some hidey hole with the detonator. And his whiskey. You know what else gets you drunk? Hypothermia. Not if we keep moving. Siles, you're with Pearson's group. Just my luck. Daniel Zussman, you come at me while I set the final charge. Then we ambush the trucks. Will do. Let's do the run. We're breathing down Adolf's neck. Just gotta stop those trucks. I got this. Go watch the road for enemy trucks. There's our signal. Trucks are inbound. We've got Nazi transports on the road. Howard, get up here. Hold. Wait until they're in position. Fritz Sid versus Price. Hang in there, buddy! I'd be a dead man if it wasn't for you! Grenade!
We're gonna use this truck to infiltrate the enemy air base and destroy the explosives. Aiello, get it ready to move out. Howard, take some men and clear the road. Yes, sir. Giles, you with me. Move it, Fritz. I'm driving. Huh? Let's go. Coming through the gates at 0300. Find a high vantage to cover our assault so we can take out those last trucks. Hey, keep it quiet and watch for patrols. Let's move! Face some head. There's our two high points near the front gate. Must be a few ways to sneak in. We gotta find the vantage by the gate. There's the base commander. to find a high vantage so we can help destroy those explosives. Keep it quiet. 
quiet. This path leads to the ridge. Hold your fire. Pearson's squad will be assaulting the gate soon. Scout the area, look for targets. Explosives are being loaded into those trucks. Look right. Pearson's in position at the gate.
Stay calm, it'll be okay. It was close. You okay? They captured Zussman. I'm sorry about your buddy, but we need to hit that last truck now. No, 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 no. you're not going anywhere. Zussman was captured! This thing comes first! I can't leave him! Can't lose that truck. Disobeyed a direct order. Then I guess you better court martial me. Desertion 
is a capital offense. So maybe I should just do us all a favor and finish the job. Sergeant! It's over. You got no place in my platoon. Get him out of my face. It's gonna be okay. We'll get you patched up. You did everything you could. Ich bin auf der Suche nach Arbeitern. Ich werde sie inspizieren. Die und separat. Lose the tags. Lose them. They're after Jews. Wer sind die Juden? Die Juden. Wer sind die Juden? Frag mich doch, du Nazi, du Scheiße. Du sprichst Deutsch. Ausgezeichnet. Welche sind die Juden? Fick dich. Zeig sie mir. We're Americans. Period. Was hast du hier ausgezogen? Wohin bringst ihr uns? Ihr seid zum Arbeiten hergekommen und das werdet ihr auch tun! It's been eight weeks since Osmo was captured. I'm trying not to lose hope. Sir, tell me they found Zussman. I wish I could, son. Pearson didn't give a damn about him. Just like his men at Kasserine. Kasserine? You got it all wrong, Private. Pearson was ordered to retreat, but some of his men were trapped in the pass. He couldn't bring himself to fall back without them. But he ended up just losing more trying to save him. It's never been the same. But you don't need to worry about Pearson. You're headed stateside. Am I looking at a court-martial, sir? Wouldn't reflect too good on the army to punish the soldier who accelerated the whole damn war effort. That's right. The intelligence you found on that prisoner was critical in locating the last bridge across the Rhine. Might even be a bronze star in your future. You're a bona fide hero. Welcome home, Red. From this moment on, I am not letting you out of my sight. You understand me, Corporal? Yes, ma'am. You all right there, Red? We're gonna talk or we're gonna hunt. 
You should be proud. You ruled your fear, you held your own. Nothing more you can ask of a man. It's the best feeling in the world, ain't it? Facing down hell and coming home a bona fide hero. Red? Red? You're a bona fide hero. To the end? To the end. I've been discharged. Worse than that, the crowd's exhausted. But I ain't giving up on them, even if I got a ticket home. March 1945. With the 9th Armored and the 99th, our mission is to take the bridge of Remagen. We get across, the last German resistance will crumble. I want nothing more than to be with Hazel when our baby arrives. But I gotta convince Pearson to let me back in the fight. I'm doing it to find Zuss, cause he'd do the same for me. If I don't make it home, well... Just watch over him, Paul. Oh, oh. What are you doing here? What's it look like? Suicide. Hey, I wouldn't go in there. Pearson's been hitting the sauce. Thanks for the warning. <sighs> you gotta be fucking kidding me. I'm not giving up on Zussman. Tell it to the chaplain, because I got no room for a second. Who can't follow orders? You weren't following orders when you refused to abandon those boys at Kazarain. What did you just say to me? You heard me. You better leave while you can still walk. Davis told me it wasn't your fault. You were only trying to do right by your platoon. Get out! Get out! I'm not going anywhere. I said get out! God damn it! My orders were to fall back. But I just couldn't leave them. I told my men we were gonna hold this pass. Until reinforcements got here. But they never came. They never came. So I guess you're right. I did get my men killed. No go. Not without my platoon. <sighs> you think you got some guts, don't you? Try getting the job done day in and day out while your men are dying all around you. Turner would have never given up like Turner this. Turner is dead. Then make that mean something. No sacrifice too great. You don't know anything about sacrifice. How about this? Honorable discharge papers signed by Davis. My ticket home. I could have had everything. A hero's welcome. My girl in my arms. Hell, even a bronze star. But I got one last mission. You must be crazy. Crazy ain't the half of it. All right, fall in. Sergeant? I said fall in, goddammit. If you want in, now's the time. Get the fuck out of my way. I guess the gang's all here. Not all of us. Let's take that bridge and find our boy. Yes, Corporal. If Zussman's alive, he's across that bridge. We just gotta take it first. Hey, 
There she is, the last bridge over the Rhine. If we get this convoy across, we're in the heartland. We'll bust them open. Look, it's all or nothing. It's all been leading to this. Oh. Oh, God! Oh. Secure the bridge entrance! Yes, Sergeant! Come on! Hey! Don't make me regret giving you a second chance! You know I won't. Let's move. Scouts are gonna blow the bridge. We gotta stop them. Styles, what do you got? They're rolling out everything. Just buy some time. We'll handle the charges. All right, I'll lead the way while Daniels and Styles cover the engineers. 
Ready? Come on, let's go! You two! Defuse the charges below the main structure! Crowds are falling back! Stay low and keep sharp! Fred spotted! Up ahead, on your shot! Target and smoke ready. Ready to go. They're falling back. Could use some more. I got you. Be that target is smoke. I got one for you. Target is smoke! Ready to go! Find the barrel!
Enemy troops! Send him this way! Got you covered! everyone Take out the bridge. We need to capture those AA guns. Daniels, Howard, on me. Move now! Grenade out! Enemy located! Fire now! Sandbags! 
Ziel auf 10 Uhr. Position! Grenade out! That Torgan and smoke ready!
enemy spotted. They're coming out. Everyone stand down. Stand down. They're surrendering. It's over. It's over. The bridge is ours. Corporal Howard. I believe I owe you an apology. You owe me a hell of a lot more than that. Come on through. Just made history, fellas. Worst across the run. What you looking at, Fritz? There are reports of POW camps in the area. Davis has ordered us to wait for authorization before conducting a sweep. But I guess you know what to do with Davis's orders. Copy that, Sergeant. All right. Proud our platoon held the first bridgehead on the Rhine. Now our convoy's rolling into the heart of Germany. They say war's as good as won. Not to me. Not while Zuss is out there. After leaving the bridge on our mission east, we searched camps along the way. I thought I knew what cruelty was. I didn't know anything. But one thing's for certain. What I saw will stay with me forever. Survivors said that the other POWs including Zussman, had been taken to a smaller camp three hours east. All I could do was hope he somehow made it. <clears throat> Last one. This looks more like a labor camp. Come on. I get the feeling it's deserted. It's still burning. They must have just left. There's a barracks over there. Daniels. You and Styles check it out. Aiello, with me. They wanted to hide whatever happened here. Take out your camera. The world's got to know. They had them living worse than animals. From the looks of it, they were beaten, starved, and worked to the bone. Over here. The Nazis had murdered our boys in cold blood, and no fire in hell could burn away the stain. I'm guessing they made an example out of them.
They'd slaughtered the weakest. Anyone that was slowing them down. Daniels, over here. Daniels, you gotta see this. The tracks lead to the fields. That's where they must have marched on. And that's where we're going. I wouldn't get your hopes up, Corporal. I made a promise to Zussman. We'll find him. I just can't guarantee we'll find him alive. Sergeant, I'll take point. Zussman! Red! Red, take the shot! Everything's coming full circle. All I've done, all I wish I'd done. It's like my whole life is leading to this moment. We need to head home, baby brother. Paul! You died right there in the snow. All because I couldn't. Couldn't. Damn it. I'm coming, Zussman. You're not gonna die, brother. Not now. Not today. Zussman! Red, take the shot! Take the shot! Take the shot! Take the shot. <sighs> Is it over? I must be dreaming. What'd they do? <laughs> Thought you were left behind. And I'm gonna die alone out here. Drink some. Easy now. Okay, come on, let's get him out of here. Into the Jeep, come on. Gentle, gentle, gentle. You always looked out for me, Paul. And I reckon you did today. Because there's only one thing that keeps you going on that long march, and that's having your brothers beside you. When history called, you answered. From all walks of life, you came to defend peace and freedom. I thank you, and the world thanks you. Wherever your path takes you, know this. You will always be amongst a brotherhood of heroes. Well, this is it, fellas. Zussman wanted you to have it. And yeah, you'll need it more than me. You got a kiddo now. Thanks for the vote of confidence. Yeah, you'll be fine. Gentlemen. Queens! Your prodigal son returns! <laughs> uh, are you gonna be okay? Gotta say bye to Zussman. Sarge. Going home, Sergeant? I am home. What about you? You gonna re-up? I've been away from Texas for a long time. You take care of farm boy. I will. When my son asks what I did, I'll tell him I fought with the first. And that crazy bastard Pearson. <laughs> crazy ain't the half of it.
If you're ever in Chicago, <laughs> I'll get there. Oh, yeah, maybe I'll surprise you and Long you first. You're welcome anytime. You know, when they captured us, it wasn't just our freedom that they took. Even though we were together, and we were alone, looking for any way to survive. Well, you, you could have gone home a hero. Why'd you come back? I saw that life. Just couldn't live it. The dream was different last night. This time we made it home, together. I can still hear the wolves paw. Sometimes I still see them coming. But you showed me how to fight them. So this belongs to you. Because the sacrifice you made taught me that a hero will risk it all to save his brother. And you'll always be both to me.
March 1945. This is headquarters, your home away from home and the center of your time here off the front line. If you're not out there in the field, this is your place to advance your career. So gear up, train hard, get to know your fellow soldiers. We're well supplied, but you've got a lot to learn. Every man and woman on this beach knows this was just the first step in pushing back the Germans. We're counting on you to help us push through to the Rhine. Come on, soldier. Let's get you set up in a division. Before heading out to the front, you need to select the division, soldier. Watch these division films and figure out your best way to join the cause. I'm Captain John P. Andrews, and I'm here to recruit you to the U.S. Army Infantry. As infantrymen, you will experience more combat than any other branch in our multinational force. You will be the tip of the spear. For that reason, you will receive individual skills training and be made fit to fight. The instruction you will receive emphasizes individual rifle marksmanship and hand-to-hand -hand combat, so you will be able to engage the enemy at any range. At longer engagement distances, you will rely on your skills as infantry riflemen to destroy the enemy. Up close, you will receive instructions on how to fight with the bayonet. Sweat in training saves blood in battle. As long as you have your brothers in arms and your rifle, you are unstoppable. And if something tries to stop you, show them what a bayonet can do to anything in the way. Let's get to work. Welcome to the Airborne. We are the most well-trained, physically fit, and battle-ready unit in the U.S. Army. Being a Sky Soldier requires peak physical fitness, mental and emotional toughness, and unhesitating courage. It doesn't get any more dangerous than this. We're the first in the fight, and we're the last thing opposition wants to see. We are hunters from the sky. If you think you've got the guts, then gear up, get on board, and let's go kick some Axis ass. Pay close attention. The sooner we get the introductions out of the way, the sooner we can get to blowing things up. My name is Major James Parks of the Royal British Armoured Division. Our armoured forces have one mission, and one mission only. Engage and destroy the enemy. We specialise in direct combat with opposing armoured forces, strong points, and fighting positions. And we're also frequently called upon to provide for direct fire support for our comrades in the infantry. A weapon that is issued in our branch down to the squad level is the light machine gun. As a member of the armored division, 
it will be your duty to clear the way for our brothers in arms. If we don't do our job, then they can't do theirs. We fight for king and country, but most of all, we fight for each other. It is an honor to be armored. Never forget that. Now, let's get started, shall we? Welcome, soldiers, to the Canadian Mountain Division, the most elite unit in the entire Allied Armed Forces. If you want to run headlong into access strongholds, try the infantry. But if you want to make your shot count, then we have a place for you. You are the eyes of the unit. You take in everything. The whole world lives between your crosshairs. Find your vantage point and execute the mission. They can't hear us, they can't see us, by the time they detect us, it's too late. If you have a keen eye and a steady hand, if you have the patience to wait for the perfect shot, if you can quiet the world around you and do what needs to be done, then look nowhere else but the Mountain Division. Attention, welcome to the Resistance. We do not have the luxury of time as our enemies are closing in. So I will be brief. Welcome to the... I'm Captain John P. Good choice, soldier. Infantry is the tip of the spear. Team Deathmatch, eliminate the enemy team.
Move out, I'll take position. Fire. Enemy inbound. Maneuver. We have the lead. We have the lead. Recon aircraft observed.
incoming. Get to cover. Hello, soldier. I'm Corporal Green with the first quarter me. Need some new feet? I've got you covered. boarded a battleship in the middle of the damn channel. We're advancing, sir. The Second World War goes beyond all boundaries in every category. We see more nations involved in a single conflict. We see casualties higher than ever before. Just a generation before, at the end of the First World War, the Great War, they didn't call it World War I because they expected that nothing like this would ever happen again. And a generation later, something happens that's even bigger and even worse in so many ways. We have the honor of making this year's Call of Duty called World War II. Our chance to tell the epic, gritty, visceral story of the world's greatest conflict. There is a genuine interest in producing a product that is historically authentic. Every part of this, this game has been researched and nuanced and studied and scanned and photographed. We really, really try to get the respect and the, the details right of the game. This is about ordinary people doing extraordinary things brotherhood, the camaraderie, um, the guy next to me. And that became the theme for our game. On a personal level, honoring the story was crucial for us, and it was something we really committed to. Our story weaves in and out of real historical events. We've 
gone to great pains to create those authentic battles. One of the biggest things we wanted to get across was a sense of camaraderie. The people you serve side by side with, you develop bonds with those people. Hopefully players will walk away from this story feeling like they really know these guys. Welcome to the Bloody First. And they care about them. Art influences the game in a huge way. The lighting and the tonality and the colors. We want to be able to have the player feel something. By creating a very believable environment, it allows the player to slip into this world. The vision for the art direction we call dark and beautiful. It was emotionally dark, visually beautiful. More than just being cool and pretty, it's about trying to get people to have a deeper emotional reaction to the game. Our modeling department is amazing. The weapons, vehicles, the tanks, even the cars you might see on the city street. The level of detail is just phenomenal. It's a huge endeavor, but we have to stay true to the source material. We have to research and watch a lot of film, a lot of archive footage to see how combatants in World War II would behave. Sometimes the hardest things are the biggest payoffs. The combination of the model, the animation, and the audio creates that punchiness to the weapon. We record everything. Every location we record in for the game, the ambiences, the music, the dialogue, everything has to be created from scratch. We had a real opportunity here to do a level of authenticity and reality, true to the war, true to the soldiers who fought in that war. We had this great opportunity with Marty Morgan, our military advisor. We spent a lot of time on a gun range with all of the authentic World War II weaponry. It's critical to understand the absolute violence of the Second World War. It's critical to understand how weapons and firepower function. This is a story that's bigger than all of us. This is a whole new generation who might not have a lot of experience with in this time period. I think this is a great opportunity to have them experience that and feel that. We've made something pretty incredible and I'm very proud of it. It's perhaps the greatest compliment I've been paid in my career to work on this project. This is the most powerful game I've ever worked on. It's very personal, it's very humbling. You know, I've been making games for over 26 years. And I'll tell you, it's the best game we ever made. Yeah, we went out.